That wasn't too bad. Hello everyone, welcome back to Below Par, myself Jill Avery. Today I'm going to share with you a pitching tip that comes straight from the tour. If you're like most golfers around the country, you're going to find that your pitching tends to be a little bit subpar. You tend to find that getting up and down from these distances is really difficult and the biggest issue is often the strike. You tend to find the club digs in, the leading edge digs in, and actually that causes you then to bat the ball. When we're watching golf on telly, you'll notice the tour pros from this distance are very good and really consistent. One of the things that you'll find they're most consistent at is actually the strike. Now by getting a good strike on the golf club, getting that good contact, they're able then to judge the distance, judge the flight, and therefore judge how the ball is going to react on the green. With years of practice of this, they're going to find that they're pitching is going to be amazing and that's why we see them pitch so well on TV and I want to give you the tip that those guys are using in order to hit better pitch shots. Okay let's start with the fault, let's start with what I see people doing wrong. So one of the first things we start to see is people aren't using that bounce enough on the golf club, they're not using the bounce therefore they're using the leading edge to dig in and we've got to be really precise with that technique and this is why so many people are struggling. So what I'm going to try and teach you today is how to use this bounce more effectively on the golf club. One of the things that's going to make a big difference, and it was on one of the previous videos, was the cack handed drill. This is going to allow you to start getting the club head and shaft in alignment and feel that club releasing and actually the back of that golf club now bouncing off the floor. What we're going to do is we're going to take that a step further. How do we start introducing even more bounce into the shot? Well, it's really simple. All we're going to do We've got the golf club sat like so, we're just going to open the face a little bit. That's going to introduce more bounce and give us a real nice ability now not to dig into the floor, but to let the club come out. What a lot of people are going to notice is that the leading edge is actually going to lift off the floor slightly. This doesn't mean you're going to thin it. A lot of people panic as soon as they see the leading edge come up. The floor is actually quite forgiving in terms of that leading edge will glide just under, under the golf ball and actually give us a chance then to pop that ball up nicely. So let's do this with the technique. So if I do the technique first off that I see at fault, so we're going to see the ball back in the stance, we're going to dig that leading edge down, and you can see that ball hasn't come out very well at all, and actually I've dug a little bit into the floor there as well. A really difficult way to play this shot. What we're going to do then is make it a little bit easier, we're going to make the technique easier. So we're going to do our setup as in the pitching video, all I'm going to do now is open that face a little bit as well, it doesn't need to be a huge amount. I'm sort of the, the face now is aiming sort of the right edge of the green. I'm just going to turn my body now a little bit to the left as well. And what I'm going to feel from here is that the club is turning and that it's bouncing through the floor. Now, one of the things you'll notice is the contact time with the floor is larger. But what the club isn't doing is digging. And I can feel the club there bouncing. I can feel that trail edge bouncing into the floor. So we're going to set up. Going to open the face slightly, going to aim a little bit left with the body now, and from there, now going to use that bounce to hit this shot. So, the one handed drill then for this technique is really going to help. So, we're going to take our normal setup position as discussed in the video, and then we're going to do some shots just the right hand, feeling that club bounce off the floor and release at the same time club here you can see sits, leading edge is sort of down into the floor. As soon as I open that golf club you can see it lifts the leading edge slightly, however that's going to introduce a lot more bounce into the shot. From there I'm just going to take my setup so the, the club sort of in the middle and now I'm just going to swing through around that left side. And that then's allowing me to make much better contact with the floor and it's a lot more consistent. 